All is not well in Hollywell. The only bank that's guaranteed to stand by this part of Flintshire is the one that separates it from the River Dee. Until last year, there were four banks on the high street, one after another, three of them closed. Each hole in the wall became just a hole in a wall. The cash point of the one remaining bank now has a permanent queue. For a lot of people, they only came into town for the banks. So because the banks had gone, it was easier to go somewhere where they're in the town where there is a bank so they can do the shopping and do the banking at the same time. Karen Lloyd runs a flower shop in Hollywell. She says the bank's departure has been devastating for small businesses like hers, which need branches to deposit their cash takings. They all say that they're for the businesses and that, and yet they're not helping us at all. They're making it harder for us to get to them. Because we can't just now, if we run out of change, or you need to bank, do a bank for cash and that, you can't just get nipped to the bank anymore. You've got to physically go to another town somewhere else. Of course, this isn't just happening in this town. It's happening all over the United Kingdom. The government has opened up banking to competition, and many of the newcomers into the market are online only. Clicks don't need many bricks. In an effort to stay competitive, the traditional banks are dropping branches faster than a dead tree in a storm. All over the UK are the scars of missing bank signs. At the start of 2017, the big four UK banks had 5,354 branches between them. Since then, Barclays has closed 98 branches, HSBC 129. Lloyd's, which includes Halifax and Bank of Scotland, have closed or announced they will close 250. And RBS, which includes NatWest, have closed or announced they will close 471. That's a total of 948 branches gone or going in a little over a year. For most towns, the story would end there, with empty buildings and a sense of decline. And so it might have done for Hollywell, had it not been for a chance conversation between the local MP and a tech executive. So I met um, David Hansen, the MP for um, the overall constituency in Dellen, and we were talking about the, the issues that Hollywell was facing. And as Square is a relatively new business to the UK, we only launched in March this year, we were really keen to get close to a town like Hollywell to really understand the problems that small businesses have there and see if there was anything that we could do to help. I have uh, a Lindy three metre one, which is a little bit on the long side. Square is already big in the US. It allows small businesses like Phil Jones Computer Store in Hollywell to take card payments with a smartphone. There's no contract and there's a fixed fee. In partnership with the town council, Square has given free card readers to any business that wanted one. Over 90% have signed up. I took cards up until 2014 and then I stopped taking cards. Um, the payment terminal that I had was costing me a lot of money as rental and I had minimum processing fees every month and then there was different varying costs for different types of transactions. Um, some lower than square, some higher than square. So uh, in, in average, the, we, even if I wasn't using it, it was costing me over 40 odd pounds a month just to have the machine here. For many businesses in Hollywell, that outlay just didn't make sense. So they were locked in a world of cash. But now, without the physical banks they and their customers needed to process that cash. Sweeney Ted Palmer has cut hair in Hollywell for decades. He's typical of a cash-locked business. His haircuts cost six pounds. Having a card reader made no sense. Initially, he was resistant to Square's help. Six pounds, mate. OK, thanks very much. Indeed. Now, he there says, he wouldn't go back. People do ask me, do I, do, do I take card? And I've lost custom because of it. Uh, on, on a couple of occasions, uh, uh, I've cut people's hair to, uh, on a couple of occasions and they said to take card and I said no and they said oh I'll go and get the cash off the machine and I've watched them through the window go and carry on. Free haircut? Yeah, just not, not bother coming back. So it, to me it was a no brainer really, as long as it, as long as it was viable, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's another service that I can offer and people are carrying less and less cash around, don't they? 
The banks still visit Hollywell. This NatWest mobile banking van sets up once a week in the council car park. And whilst it's true many can now bank online, once you get out of town, internet connection isn't always good enough. Free card payment readers aren't going to solve those challenges. But the town council says the project's main benefit is to restore some self-belief in Hollywell. Uh, yeah, you can, I can definitely see a, a, a turnaround from the dismay of the original bank shutting to people feeling positive about the town. Uh, we need to make a lot of changes. It's not a, it's not a silver bullet that's going to solve everything, but uh, it certainly helps. First, technology came for the record shops and the toy shops and the book shops and the travel agents. The fact that it's now come for the bank branches may feel inevitable and viewed from a busy city even a reasonable evolution. But viewed from many rural towns, the departure of the banks can feel more like a dire threat to their economic life.